Sovereign Skies essentially and the heads that it provides against transnational organized crime is not just a theory for many, it's a reality. Over the past three years, uh, Dominican law enforcement and military forces have worked uh, very hard uh, hand in hand uh, with the U.S. and Colombian Air Forces to reduce the number of illicit air traffic routes uh, through the Dominican Republic from about an average of 120 a year to zero. It's raising the level or the operational level of the Dominican Republic Air Force into a regional and international level where we can operate with U.S. assets and Colombian or the regional partners in the same standards and the same SOP or procedures, I would say, that we can talk the same language. What we've seen is a tremendous growth in capacity, proficiency, and consistency as Dominican forces regained their air sovereignty for the regional threat posed by transnational organized crimes, uh, illicit air traffic. We start doing some flights, high altitude, very day, time, no clouds, and then we are banned doing night ops, MBG ops and also trying to do some patrolling with uh, STYs, that means uh, tra illicit trafficking by sea. Partnership, it's, 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 it's a key word nowadays and we wouldn't be able to do it ourselves without partnership of the US, without partnership of Colombia. We're looking forward to explore this more and expand to all the regions, all the partners in the, in the, in the, in the region, I would say. Uh, but we wouldn't be able to make to make it all ourselves. They probably have reached beyond what they thought they could do. They're uh, set up an own air defense command now. They didn't have that before. That's new. They set up a C2 center. So all these advantages are going to just bring them up to a new higher level of uh, expertise. And look into the future. Probably um, now we are doing join and combine exercise between U.S., Colombia, and Dominican Republic and look into the future doing a, a more complex exercise including all the countries in the region. With regional cooperation between the U.S. and among our neighbors in the region, everyone benefits. Summer Skies is already a regional program which Colombia collaborated with the United States and the Dominican Republic and other partners in the region to develop and implement. The end result is the stifling, containment, and reduction of the transnational organized crime which threatens everyone in the region. It's neighbors helping neighbors.